the whole thing. Ha. Yum! <laughs> hey, I don't think I've ever done a dessert video before on here, have I? Hmm. Well, today I am going to make a dessert. I have never made this one before, and it is called Grasshopper Fudge Cake. Seriously, you cannot go wrong with mint and chocolate. You just can't. And cake. If you want to see how this is made, come along. Okay, for this recipe, you are going to need a 9 by 13 cake pan, and you are going to need cooking spray to spray that pan really good so your cake does not stick to it. You need a white cake mitt, two teaspoons of mint extract, 12 drops of green food coloring, and five drops of yellow food coloring, two 16 ounce jars of hot fudge topping, and an eight ounce container of Cool Whip Thawed. Okay, first thing you're going to preheat your oven to 350 and like I said I'm going to spray my cake pan and then I'm going to make the white cake mix according to the package. But it says that you're going to use one and a half teaspoons of the mint extract with the water and then you're going to reserve one cup batter. And now we'll go from there. Okay, I added my three egg whites to the bowl. And I have, the cake mix calls for one and a fourth cups of water. So I measured out that. And now the recipe calls for one and a half teaspoons of mint extract. So I'm going to add that to it after I open it. I had peppermint ex extract, but I did not have mint. So if you have peppermint, do not use it. Make sure you get the mint. Okay, so it says one and a half teaspoons. So this is my half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna, so that's half, one, and a half to the water. I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna grab the oil, which is a third cup of vegetable oil. Measure this out, pour this right in with the eggs. I'm gonna pour the water, the mint water. Look at it like clouded up, can you see that? <laughs> Smells really good. I'm gonna pour that in there and then I'm gonna add the cake batter. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and I will show you when I get it done because the mixer on camera is just way too loud. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have it all mixed up, um, it says to reserve a cup of the batter. So I'm going to measure that out. Okay, I'm going to take a little bowl and I'm going to dump that into the smaller bowl. Scrape it all out because you need this. This is going to actually have green food coloring in it and this is going to be swirled throughout your cake. Okay, it says to take your green food coloring and put three drops into the reserved batter. So, one, two, three. I'm gonna grab another spoon, so, cause this is gonna be green. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna swirl this around in here. Found this recipe one day just looking on Facebook. I don't even know who had it exactly. It's probably like by Betty Crocker or something. <laughs> Okay, that's minty, very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and I am going to pour the white batter into the cake pan. Okay, I'm gonna spread that out in the cake pan. I'm gonna give it a little shake here to kind of make it more even when it bakes because you, you don't want your cake to be, you know, more batter on one side and less on the other, right? So give it a little shake and that helps evenly distribute your cake batter. Okay, and then we're going to take the green batter and you're going to drop it generously on top of the white. It says into 12 to 14 mounds, but what I get, nine? 
<laughs> Which is fine, seriously. It's all gonna get swirled in anyway. Okay, you're gonna take a metal, um, they said spatula or a butter knife, but I'm gonna use a butter knife. And you are going to swirl in asses all the way through your batter. First going one way and then coming up and going the other. Make sure it gets distributed really well. So you can go through this quite a few times if you want to because this is going to be the color that goes throughout your whole entire cake. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it already. Okay, I am going to put this in the oven for about 29 minutes. We'll see you in 29 minutes, cake. I always check it with a toothpick. If your toothpick comes out clean, which mine did, it's done. So now this has to cool. And it says for about an hour is what it'll take. And then we'll be back and start our next section on this grasshopper fudge cake. Okay, the cake is completely cooled off. So I'm going to, I opened the jars of the hot fudge. And I'm going to scoop them out of here with a spoon. And you're supposed to just dump both jars of hot fudge on it. It said 16 ounce jars, but these are just over 12, so I'm not worried about it. It's still a lot of fudge on a cake. Okay, and now I'm going to dump the second one on. Anything with fudge I think is just going to be really good. Okay, I have a um, butter knife and I'm going to spread that fudge all over the top of the cake. This is actually really easy to work with. I was worried that it would just be too thick and sometimes fudge, you know, is just hard to work with because it's for ice cream. I don't know. I was worried it would, wouldn't be this soft, but this is actually soft. So this is the Hershey brand is what we got. Maybe that's the difference. We got the Hershey brand. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look decadent? Is your mouth watering yet? Seriously? Oh my goodness, mine is. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna get the Cool Whip out and um, we will make up the Cool Whip topping. Okay, it says to take a medium bowl and put the Cool Whip into the bowl. Gonna take your mint extract again and you're going to put a half of a teaspoon of the mint extract into it and then you're going to take your green food coloring and you're going to add nine drops Did you count? <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, you're gonna take your yellow food coloring and add five drops. Isn't that something that comes out looking red, but it's yellow. Okay, and you're gonna stir that into your whip topping. Get all that mint and all the color into it. Ooh, this is gonna be a really pretty color. Oh, I just got a whiff of that mint in it. Oh my goodness, it smells really good. Try to fold it in. I don't want to make my Cool Whip into liquid. Oh, that's so pretty. Hey, we are going to take the cake. We are gonna put the Cool Whip, the Minty Green Cool Whip on the top of it. Okay, and you are going to spread that over the entire cake. Now the recipe calls for that you could use 
cream de mint chocolate candies, probably like Andy's candies. And you can break them up and put them over the top, but I did not do that. Figured I would just leave them off this time. But next time I probably will do that. So you definitely can just break up like Andy's candies and put them over the top if you want. And sprinkle it and make it pretty. And give it like probably a little crunch on top of all this yumminess. Okay. Oh, isn't that something? Oh my goodness. So pretty. It's a pretty green, minty green color. I love it. Okay, that's it. So if you have the candy, you would sprinkle it over the top right at this point. Okay, let's give this a try. It's not very pretty because it was the first piece that come out, but this is chocolate dripped all down the side of it. The chocolate is mixed in. You can see the green co color go through it. Oh, man. All right, let's try it. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. You, wow. Okay, this is craveable. Seriously, you would crave this cake. Okay, so you get, it's not overpowering. The mint is not overpowering. It's just a little hint of mint flavoring. And then you get that, look at this. You get that pow of like the chocolate. And then the whipped cream is like light and fluffy in your mouth. Oh man, seriously, this is fantastic. Fantastic, you have to make this. If you make this, post a picture on Instagram and tag me in it. I wanna see, I wanna see how yours turned out and what you did with it. And if you add the candy, I've, this is gonna be hard not to eat. Yum, I'm gonna get me a cup of coffee and I'm gonna finish that piece of cake. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining me and um, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around. The recipe will be down below, so grab a hold of it and make yourself this delectable, delicious cake. It is amazing. I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.